How's it going everybody? It's Dustin here and today we are back on the 1992 Honda 4Trax 300. So in the last video we got that abandoned four-wheeler running and today we're going to do a little bit of maintenance and put a sprayer on it and see if we can put this thing to work. So we got some new tires for the back. They are uh, D Stone Swamp Witch. I think they were 110 bucks a piece mounted. So definitely a uh, budget friendly tire. So I didn't want to go crazy. I was really wanting to find some that looked like the old ones is because I thought they looked cool, but didn't find them. So, or I could find them, but I didn't want to wait as long as it was going to take. So we're going to throw the rear tires back on it. We're going to change the engine oil because God knows how old it is. And if we get time, we'll hit the rear end, but I don't know if we'll get time tonight or not. So we got a cool place to go tonight which will be in a separate video, but so we ain't got a whole lot of time today. So we're going to get the oil changed, put the tires back on it, get my spray rig put on it and see if we can get it wired up. Well, those tires look way better, way better. There, I did look it up. This is a 25 by 12 by nine. And it looks like from factory, it was 25 by 11 by nine, but there's like no options for tires in a 25 by 11. So we went back with the 25 by 12s. Don't have a lot of clearance there, so but it looks like it'll be all right. I do think the rear shock has had it, so, but when we replace it, hopefully it'll stiffen up the rear end some. Okay, we've got the, uh, we let the four wheeler sit here and idle for about five, 10 minutes, got the oil good and warm. So we got three quarts of Lucas ATV, semi-synthetic 10w40 an amazon filter and i did order a new o-ring just in case that needs changed too so pretty simple process okay so i forgot to turn the camera on while i was underneath it but somebody has jankied up the drain plug with a half inch bolt so i hopefully it holds I don't know. I ain't got a whole lot of faith. As long as it holds, I'm not going to worry about it. But if it don't, it looks like it's going to be a mess. So the oil filters right here, just three screws. But that oil was disgusting. It has been a long time. Okay, there's the filter. So I went ahead and got a new O-ring. Well, there's actually two. One that goes right here. 
get a pick. Seeing how long it's been since this oil's been changed, you start messing with that O-ring and that thing's gonna start leaking. So, for I think it was a dollar for two new O-rings. There's an O-ring right there. And right here on the case is another O-ring. That seals right there. And in typical Amazon fashion, that is not the right O-ring. So, all good plans have an issue. And that didn't work. So, put the old one back on. Uh, the, most of these old filters have an inside and an outside. The rubber seals onto the housing. So, just like the way we took it off. It's kind of annoying that O-ring didn't work. I think this thing holds like two and a half quarts, somewhere in there. So that's what we put in. We fired it up, we've let it sit, and now we'll see. See how that is. Perfect. All right. Well, I wish I'd have had the camera on when I pulled the plug out, but. I mean, this stuff is nasty. Looks like some diesel oil that's been ran about 40,000 miles across country. It is dirty. Okay, so we got the engine oil changed. We're gonna wait on the rear end until we go to messing with them brakes in case we gotta take that stuff apart anyway. So I've got a 45 gallon sprayer that we had had in a gator at one time. But it's got this frame for sitting in the bed of a UTV. Need to take it off. That way the tank can sit on the rack. Throw a strap on it and uh, hopefully get the spray in. I've got the uh, power and ground just on some alligator clips since we take it on and off uh, all the time. 
I don't want to hardwire it in. I'll probably just take that cover off and leave it off while we got the sprayer on. Well, we got it mounted. Everything works. Let's go throw some water and chemical in it, make sure nothing leaks and everything works fine. And uh, we'll put this uh, 92 model forwarder to work. Well, we got our generic roundup and we got the tank just about full. Got about 40 gallons in there and we're gonna go do some spraying. It's definitely squatting the back end pretty good, but it'll work. It'll put some work in, earn its keep around here for the day. Well, we got uh, most of the first tank of spray ran through the sprayer. The four-wheeler ran great. Um, the drain plug I was concerned about is leaking. So when I took it out, there was a big clob of crap. And I assume, looking back, it was probably some silicone or something. So I thought, well, I'll look up because someone has drilled and tapped it for a half inch coarse thread bolt for some reason. And that's what that was. They've ran a bolt with a nut in it. I don't know. Somehow they managed to keep it from leaking. But if I'm gonna do all that, we're gonna try a different kind of drain plug. So usually you can find uh, uh, oversize or something like that. And if nothing else, they actually make rubber one's like um like a rubber freeze plug so and they they work fine especially for the i'm not going to be off-roading it crazy or nothing like that it's just going to put around the farm so if i can't find something if i can't find an actual half inch by 13 thread drain plug i don't want to go any bigger than that then i'll just put a rubber uh expandable plug in it but four wheeler ran great. Um, need to get some brakes, obviously. And I don't use the tank much, so it's really too big. It's too heavy, it's too wide. It's horribly uncomfortable sitting in front of that. But like I said, I only you have to spray a couple times. So I'll get everything sprayed. I'll take the tank back off and then the next time just put it right back on so well the uh for the project's going good still got a lot of work to do on it to get it up to snuff but it's running it's driving it's working so we're happy well thanks for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button please do and we'll catch you on the next video